Shalom people, this is Brother Lyles coming at you with another video. And this is day number 19 of our 21 days of repentance, the Daniel fast. And today we want to repent of the lack of judgment in our black community, the lack of judgment. One of the scriptures that you're gonna hear all the time in the black community, whether these people believe in a Yah or not is uh thou shall not judge we're good for saying that that if 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 uh someone sees a particular thing that's going on in in the, in the black community the hebrew community that when one would stand up and and talk against it and say this is sin that this scripture would be brought up totally uh disregarding the fact of what yeshua actually said when he said talked about judging what he was talking about in that scripture was those that were committing the same sin that they were going to judge that they was not judging righteously because they themselves were committing the same offense so you cannot possibly judge the same thing that you are you're guilty of committing it's it's hypocrisy and that's what Yeshua was talking about. He was talking about those that judge in hypocrisy, the adulterer trying to judge another adulterer. It's, it's, it's laughable. It's, it's silly. So among, um, uh, um, amongst us, even as Paul stated in the book of Corinthians, when he was talking to the Corinthian church, when they were seeing this young man parading around with his his father's wife and nobody wanted to stand up and say anything about it and paul said don't you understand that you're going to judge uh angels he said isn't it a man amongst you that can judge this situation that you won't let this wickedness spread amongst you and this is what has happened to us as black people in our communities because we have a lack of those that want to stand up and say what needs to be said and not and understanding again that of course you you cannot be actively uh, a, a, a whoremonger, a, a thief, a liar, a murderer, or somebody yourself that's trying to judge a situation. But I'm talking about those that, as Paul said, isn't it some people amongst you that have enough uh, uh, Elohim in them that they can say, you know, that this situation is, 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 is no good and that we need to do something about it and bring some solutions? And not even on a, a national, worldwide um, uh, 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 level. What about amongst your own family? That if you see certain things happen, that you would to speak out against it. Because he said a little leaven leaveneth the whole lump. Which is one of the reasons why we have this no snitching thing. Because when people, black people were seeing different crimes, different things going on because there was a lack of those that probably was not participating in the drug trade was not participating in the in the uh drug gang trade that somebody probably would would speak out against it i could for instance in the old neighborhood that we lived in it was it was it was it was it's it pretty bad neighborhood when it wanted to be we tried to do as much as we could to make sure the streets was clean and there was no drug dealing being dealt you know up and down in in, in front of our house and di different things like that but from time to time you will see certain things going on right and so me me being who i was you know i would definitely you know i was like hey look let's let's get police out here to do some patrols and different things just to let them know that there's people out here that's watching what's going on and we're not going to allow crime and different things to take on we understand that the police do do some devious things but right now because they are the only authority that our people seem to listen to then we will work with them we will call them and tell them hey this is what we seen can you please just patrol up here just let these people know hey we can't be doing this or whatever so next thing i tried to do i tried to get a neighborhood watch started and so everybody house that i went knocking on the door nobody wanted to answer the door Nobody wanted to come, and then I just came to the conclusion that the reason they didn't want a neighborhood watch to try to make sure crime was not taking control is because it would have stepped on the foot of what they was doing. And this is the way I, uh, you know, some of these situations run. But somebody has to speak out. You, you sure uh, said that um, 
John was a bright and shining light amongst Israel at that time because he was the only one that was willing to speak out against Herod, speak out against the stuff that the scribes and the Pharisees was doing. He was willing to put himself out there on the line. He was out there preaching to the scorpions and the grasshoppers and all that stuff in the desert before he even got a crowd of people. He wasn't even calling for a crowd of people. The people just came out to the desert to hear what this crazy man was talking about because he was talking about the stuff that should that, that needed to be talked about. People gravitated toward him. And that's what we have need of today on a, and on a family level, on a local level, on a national level, on an international level. Somebody whose who's life and character is 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 uh, uh you know on par that can speak and judge make judgment on these different things that goes on between us since we we say that we want to get better and that we don't want the police and all these other people in our our business that we could allow some of our people amongst ourselves to do that but that is not the case they say that you can sometimes go to these world star hip hop videos, and I don't know if they still doing them, where they will have different elders and people that will try to come in and maybe break up the fight and tell them, hey, look, don't pull out the guns and different things, and that they would turn on these people and either shoot them or beat them down to the ground and say, this ain't none of your business. So that now a lot of our people are kind of camel shy. They are kind of whatever laid back to say, you know what, this is just out of hand. And so now you see that this thing is dissolving and this is something that we need to repent of. And again, I'm not telling you that you got to save the world, but just start in your your, your family, start in your local area that if you you see something that you can handle, handle it. If, if it's something beyond your control, seek help, but don't at least judge the situation and understand, hey, somebody needs to stand up and say something wrong with this and get this thing changed. We gotta stop. I'm, I'm, I'm it's, it's, it's time out, right, for the tragedies that happen. Then we have people that come out and try to, 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 to make a difference, right? After it's got out of control, we need to try to nip it in the bud at the beginning and then we wouldn't have these different problems but we must repent of the lack of people being able to even judge again in our community because our people are so hard-headed they don't want to listen but this is why y'all said he would bring a people that would be fierce a people who had faces like flint whose speech we could not understand and then you can see how he brought in the, 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 the Romans. He brought in the Greeks. He brought in all these, he, he brought in all these different people that, you know, just, you know, just didn't care. And they just waylaid on in a, into us. And they've been, we've been waylaid into by the Gentiles for thousands of years, years now because of our lack of desire to want to judge righteous judgment amongst ourselves. Yah is letting them come in and do it. But I'm saying here that we need to repent of that and start taking back that. There was times, definitely, when I was growing up, that when you would see the older ladies or the older men come in and, 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 and um, try to judge the situation and, and, and turn it around, right? Not always, because again, you know, one of the things like I, 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 I would I was uh, repenting of for us the other day was was domestic violence. It was, and I can say this, it was so much domestic violence and stuff going on. Definitely, when I was growing up, that one reason why you had a, you had a lot of people that didn't want to judge that is because they again. Like I said, they was probably engaged in it. So they was probably saying, look, if I talk about this situation to them, then I got to talk about myself first because I'm dealing with this too. But we, the Most High has opened up a little bit more room and space for us to understand that we got to speak out against these things because if we don't, he'll, he'll allow them to snowball if we don't repent. If we don't tell them, Father, yeah, we do see a problem with this. We repent for all this stuff of our people uh, having to call the police on each other because they won't listen to each other. We repent of this. So this is what we're going to repent of for today. We're going to repent of the lack of judgment amongst us, the lack of us 
when a person does try to come in and handle the situation before it escalates that our people don't even want to hear it now right so father Yah, in the name of your son yeshua we repent of the lack of righteous judgment in our communities father Yah. when we see you know fights or commotions breaking uh, out father Yah. Father, y'all, there's no voice there to, to try to break it up and try to ease the tension between the two parties or when we see a, a argument between a, a husband and wife or boyfriend and girlfriend, Father, y'all, that there's no one that maybe can come in there and, and de-escalate the situation before we have these different situations where we have been in the last couple of uh, years, Father, y'all, where the, the black man or the black woman just going there and just blasting everybody because they don't know how to express themselves, Father, y'all. And because of our lack of desire to, to be counseled, to be given some instruction, Father, y'all. Please forgive us, Father, y'all, for this lack of judgment. Because of this, Father, y'all, we have those that are outside of who we are that's coming to judge situations, Father, y'all. And they're using a definitely a heavy hand, Father Yah. But again, again, this is the judgment that you have put placed upon us because of our lack of to 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 speak against different wickedness that's going on in our communities. Our, our, our lack of speaking against this wicked rap music, this wicked uh, 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 business of drug dealing, strip clubs, gambling all these different things that we re repent of we have a lot even amongst the the the, the so-called uh black christian church that are not even willing to speak out against uh teen pregnancy and everything but yet are giving in father y'all and saying that it cannot be stopped therefore that's just not that's just stop talking against it that's stop talking against uh uh, 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 infanticide. Let's stop talking against the lack of respect and all these things. We don't hear these things, Father Yah. And if we do, a lot of times these people that are speaking have no credibility because of the raggedy lives that they're leading. Please forgive us, Father Yah. Please look down upon your people, Father Yah, and raise, raise up amongst us, Father Yah, those. We pray that it's the 144,000. We pray that it's the two witnesses that you send amongst us. But before they come, Father Yah, we we need some amongst ourselves, Father Yah, to be able to speak speak up and speak out against different things and to uh, give counsel when it is when it is asked. So we pray this, Father, in the name of your Son Yeshua, and we ask that you. You hear our cry, hear our petition in the name of Yeshua. Amen. If you pray that prayer, excuse the wind, I want you to, to you know, understand, like I said, that let's that's, that's not try to win the world. Let's just start where we can. And let's support those who, who has a righteous life and, and are trying to speak out against some of these things. Let's, let's support them with their, our prayers and, and, and our support right because we need it we have a lack of righteous judges amongst us and also we we want you to um again uh look at the rest of our body of work here uh on this channel uh go back to some of my older videos i got you know i have some uh teaching lessons in there where i was you know, teaching you know, I was at that time I was recording uh, the, the Bible lessons that me and my family were doing on Sabbath. And they're there. We still do the Bible lessons on Sabbath, but I kind of stopped recording them or whatever uh, because I just want to be free not to be looking at the recording or whatever and stuff. I, I, you know, and uh, so just go back and look at those. We, we might in the future do a, a couple of those, but just be prayerful for us. So with that, we're going to ask you to give this video a thumbs up. We want you to uh, subscribe and we want you to leave a comment. And again, thank, thank you to our new subscribers. And we want to say be blessed and have a happy uh, Sabbath.